What's up guys? Today is New Year's Eve. All right, so first of all, everybody be careful out there tonight. Uh, if you're going to a party or something somewhere, have a designated driver. Um, we're bringing in 2019 tonight. I always said that I wanted to be at uh, in New York at, uh, at Times Square, you know, when the ball drops. Um, there's a ton of people that are there, but I don't know. I just always uh, thought that it'd be nice just to say, hey, I was there at so-and-so year uh, when they uh, dropped the ball in New York. But um, it certainly ain't gonna happen this year. It might happen one of these days. But um, anyway, so we are open today. We are open today. Um, so, and we're, our hours are gonna be pretty much regular hours. We're open from 10 to six. Um, unless it's just dead as all get out at about five o'clock, we may uh, close. But we tend on being open uh, from 10 to 6 today. So what I want to talk to you about is actually, I want to talk to you about guns, but it's more gun accessories. I want to talk to you about night sights and then a couple other things for an AR-15. With night sights, of course, when I say night sights, I mean true tritium night sights that glow in total darkness. Now, the thing is, we don't go shooting things in total darkness, right? We don't do that. We want to identify our target with some light source. Um, I talk about this a lot in concealed carry, you know, I don't want folks shooting their kids and things like that when they come home uh, from a party or something and they break curfew. Because it happens, it happens to this day all across this country where tragically kids are killed by their one of their parents because they're mistaken for an intruder and they didn't identify what the target was, friendly or foe, and um, you know, the worst case scenario may happen. So we don't want to do that. But the night sights are great because most bad things happen in low light conditions, okay? Low light conditions. So with the night sights, such as these right here that Trigicon make, uh, they help you pick up the sights quicker, especially the front sights. You know, the last thing you do before you press the trigger is you're gonna have focus on that front sight, all right? So Trigicon makes these. Um, I may have mentioned this, I don't know, but we're talking about 12 years. Now, before the 12 years, as far as how long they'll last, which I think is a great investment, we put these on free of charge for you if you buy them from us. We install them free of charge. You, I don't recommend putting your gun in a vise and banging on a set of sights. You could damage those tritium vials in there and you don't want to do that. So we will put them on. We have the tools back there to press your old sights off and press the new sights on. Uh, so a couple of my favorites are the Trigicon HDs. Um, they're great. They're not cheap. They're $124.99, but if you cost that out over 12 years, that's less than $12 a year if you cost out over 12 years. Now I will say those night sights, and probably somewhere around maybe year seven, year eight, they're gonna start to dim just a little bit. They're not gonna at 12 years just all of a sudden go out. They'll give you the clue that they're starting to dim. And quite frankly, you know, I would recommend replacing them once they start to dim, okay? That'd be the time to do it. Not to wait when they go out and then God forbid you need your gun and it is in low light conditions and you can still get the job done, but you're not gonna have those night sights there, okay? The other one that I really, really like are the True Glow TFX Pros. Now these are even more, these are $179.99, but I like these best of all. If they cost more, you should like them best of all. But what I like about these, these are the day-night glows. We install these and Lori's got a pair, a set of them on her gun. When you take these, put these sights on, you look at them here in the store, um, okay, you see them, take them outside and it is amazing. They pop like nobody's business. I take you back in the warehouse where when everything's shut, it's pretty much total darkness. Obviously, they glow in the dark. But I love them in day. In day, it is amazing how those things burst out at you. It, it's incredible. Same thing about 12 years uh, on these. But the TFX Pros currently right now are my favorite. It used to be the Trujicon HDs. And they're nice. Um, but I'm going to tell you, these are what we call the Mac Daddy now. I'm telling you. They're, uh, if you can swing these... These are the way to go, the TFX Pros by True Glow. They're really, really fast becoming probably some of the best selling night sights out there. Moving on to ARs, some other items that we install free of charge. One day that may change, but for right now I'm installing them free of charge, just kind of get the word around. And that is rails, free float rails. Free float rails, um, you know, it said that, and they do, they said that they increase the accuracy because the rail, um, 
the rail fixes to the upper receiver, okay, so it's not touching the barrel. They're super lightweight. The nice thing about the rail, the free float rail, is you got Picatinny there so you can uh, adjust. Now, the thing is, I've got two rails here. And by the way, as far as this accuracy thing goes, I mean, I've done my research on it. And it, it, it listen, you know, it, the improved accuracy that you're going to get over a free, a free float barrel as opposed to just a set of hand guards that are fixed to the barrel, like uh, Magpul or just your regular M4 hand guards or whatever. Listen, if you can't hit the broad side of a barn, the, the free float rail is not going to help you. It's not going to make all the difference, okay? So operator uh, does play into it big time. But if you want some improved accuracy, and most folks, hey, they're looking always looking for better accuracy, which I think most of you better accuracy is going to be in the trigger, which I'll show you here in a minute. It's the same way with handguns. I got a trigger put in my Glock. It's a Suarez trigger that I absolutely love. Um, it eliminates uh, some creep and slack and things like that. But let me move on back to the ARs. That's what we're talking about. Now, the difference in these two rails, this is, because uh, I've got several different rails in here. This is made by Gun Tech, okay? Uh, very nice. This one's priced at $139.99. It comes with its own proprietary barrel nut. Uh, but this is the M-Lock version. What I mean by that is you see these little slots right here? Those are for your M-Lock rail attachments. This one is made by UTG. This is 179. These are key mod. Now, I really like the key mod because they're, they're just, to me, they're the easier of the two. Once you get the hang of them, it's okay, but the key mod, um, it's really hard to even mess that up, and, and it installs uh, very easily. Um, this also has Picatinny across, but you can add Picatinny to the bottom, to the side, or whatever, by adding your your um, your attachments with your key mod. Notice it looks like a little keyhole, so that gives it away the key mod, or the M-lock. You can add rail sections that come in uh, two slot, three, four, five slot, nine slot, whatever. Uh, and we sell those here at the gun shop, but we will put these on for you at no cost. If you could leave the gun with me a day or two, um, we can do that, all right? So consider a free float rail, and plus two, I just quite frankly think it looks good. It, it's, it makes, it really adds some coolness to your gun. Uh, it's, it's good looking. Uh, and they make so many different varieties, and my goal is, is to have many different varieties of those rails here for you to choose from. I, I want you to have choices. Trigger, all right. Timney makes some good triggers. Um, Geisley, I like Geisley triggers. This just so happens to be a velocity trigger. Three pound velocity trigger that uh, eliminates um, some creep in there, which translates into more accuracy. Listen, I, uh, compared to a mil spec trigger, if you take an AR-15 with a regular mil, standard mil spec trigger, and then try one of these high performance triggers, it's incredible. It's very, very incredible, not much not much creep there when you uh, you press the trigger. It's a nice smooth press, and then a short uh, reset, and then follow up. You know, you got two stage, one stage. This happens to be a one stage drop in trigger. All right, so it's very easily to put in your gun. Not cheap. I mean, one hundred and thirty nine dollars, but you're you're paying for that performance. And I promise you, with Geisley, Velocity, Timney, you're gonna notice the difference. You are gonna notice the difference in those triggers. I've actually got me a jig that I order where you can put these triggers in, just drop them in so customers can actually try the different triggers. That's basically what I want to do is I want to have, you know, a Velocity, a Timney, and, um, you know, a Geisley or something else perhaps, and where you can just drop them in these jigs and you can try the different triggers and, and make your choice from there. But um, a good trigger, a good high performance trigger would be a great investment, especially you folks that are comp competing in these guns. All right, so I'm going to cut it off here. We're going to be opening here a little bit. So we talked about night sights. Uh, we talked about free float rails. Remember, the rail attaches to the upper receiver, so it doesn't touch the barrel. We talked about some drop-in triggers there and um, just some ways to enhance your weapons and um, increase the accuracy as long as, you know, the operator is squared away, okay? Um, so... Uh, once again, be safe seriously tonight. There's going to be people traveling, going to parties and things like that. I'm way, way past that. 
uh, ain't got really got no interest to do any of that anymore. I did back in my younger, younger days, but um, I ain't got no interest to do it anymore. You know, I just want to be at home safe and sound and stay off the roads. Uh, as a police officer, you know, I, I've seen too many times where alcohol and, and driving a motor vehicle certainly don't mix. It certainly don't mix with firearms either. So uh, my recommendation is have your own little private thing where you ain't got to leave or go nowhere and stay home. But I know a lot of people are going to be out on the road. It's New Year's Eve. It's just the way it is. You want to usher in 2019 with a bang. All right. Um, I know when I was working in Silo City as a police officer full time, you know, I tell my shift, I said, all right, you know, we're going to get a lot of shots fired calls. Uh, we just go, just have them go sit tight somewhere for a while. Because uh, when, New, when New Year's Eve, when the uh, toll strike 12, at midnight, um, you know, it was just a barrage of gunfire. Even I could certainly hear, no doubt about it, some automatic gunfire off in the distance, you know, just out in the outskirts of the county there. Because, uh, of course, we were in the city. Um, you know, it happened July 4th and all that. Um, so you drive yourself crazy, you responded to every single shot's fire call, you know, because most times it's fireworks. And sometimes it is gunfire. And most of that's out in the county, but it happens in the city too. All right, so uh, I want to get out of here. Don't forget our next concealed carry class is coming up next Saturday. This coming Saturday, June, June, my gosh, I already done got through half the year. No, January the 5th, January the 5th, our first concealed carry class of 2019. We've still got seats available in that class. Class fee is just $49. You can register by coming by our store here at 1606 Westover Drive, Sanford, N.C., 27330. We're right out here in the tramway area, just up from Davidson Steakhouse, right beside First Health Urgent Care, and just down the road from Midway Auto and Tire. I always like to give them a plug. They do all our mechanic work, and they're, they're friendly folks. They do a really good job. And I just had some thick, juicy pork chops Saturday night at uh, Davidson's. Man, them things were good. They put like this caramelized... Um, drizzle on it or whatever but anyway buddy uh it was good they're thick too i mean they're about like that thick juicy pork chops if you like pork pork uh try the pork chops down there i, I usually get the chicken breast but them pork chops are the bomb man i'm telling you get it with some good old asparagus and i got me some uh vidalia onions that were uh sauteed but i like them cooked a little bit more uh more on the cook side Ooh, boy, that stuff was good. So, <laughs> so now it's made me think about my oatmeal, which I ain't touched yet, but it's ready to be eaten, so I'm going to dive into it. So, seriously, uh, stay safe out there tonight, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the new year. We will be closed New Year's Day, but we will reopen Wednesday, regular hours, 10 to 6, and then, of course, Saturday, our store is open 9 to 5, all right? So come on by and see us. And we do we have some other guns in here. I still got a SIG P365 in here. I got a Glock 43. We sold all those. I should have another one of those coming in today. Don't forget, we're also a blue label dealer as well. Well, I ain't done the video through in 13 minutes long in a while. So, but, um, so we got a lot of good guns. I still got that Desert Eagle. Now, it's on Gun Broker too. And I got a bunch of watchers on there. So I got a feeling it's going to get a bid on it first in the first round as I call it, but um, it's still in this store and it is a bargain at $1,150. As a matter of fact, I had a couple of people call me up, friends of mine said, man, you got the gun listed too cheap. Well, um, you know, I don't got a tremendous amount of money in that gun to where I could, you know, make a decent profit on it. And so I just thought, hey, I'll flip it. I'll flip it right quick for $1,150 and let it go. I make a little money and somebody's happy with a brand new, it's, it's not new, but it's like new comes with five magazine desert eagle 44 magnum it's built on the 50 frame but it is in 44 mag i'm looking at it right now it's the biggest gun in that case right there man my wife's done gone to the bank and already back already so all right i'm out of here till see you next time stay armed stay safe happy new year carolina firearms training.com